What are the components of a computer? Computers have two major components, the hardware and the software. Hardware consists of all the physical devices needed to actually build and operate a computer. Examples of computer hardware are the central processing unit, CPU. Hard drive, memory, modems, and external devices such as the keyboard, monitor. Printers, scanners, and other devices that can be physically touched. Software is an integral part of a computer and consists of the various computer programs that allow the user to interact with it and specify the tasks the computer performs. Without software, a computer is merely a collection of circuits and metal in a box unable to perform even the most basic functions. If 30 people are chosen at random, what is the probability that at least two of them have their birthday on the same day? The probability that at least two people in a group of 30 share the same birthday is about 70%. How is the rule of 70 used? This rule is a quick way of estimating the period of time it will take a quantity to double given the percentage of increase. Divide the percentage of increase into 70. For example, if a sum of money is invested at 6% interest, the money will double in value in 76 equals 11.7 .7 years. What is the probability of a triple play occurring in a single baseball game? The odds against a triple play in a game of baseball are 1,400 to 1. What is the Königsberg Bridge problem? The city of Königsberg was located in Prussia on the Prejil River. Two islands in the river were connected by seven bridges. By the 18th century, it had become a tradition for the citizens of Königsberg to go for a walk through the town trying to cross each bridge only once. No one was able to succeed and the question was asked whether it was possible to do so. In 1736, Leonard Euler, 1707-1783, proved that it was not possible to cross the Königsberg bridges only once. Euler's solution led to the development of two new areas of mathematics, graph theory which deals with questions about networks of points that are connected by lines, and topology, which is the study of those aspects of the shape of an object that do not depend on length measurements. What are fractals?
A fractal is a set of points that are too irregular to be described by traditional geometric terms. But that often possess some degree of self-similarity, that is, are made of parts that resemble the whole. They are used in image processing to compress data and to depict. Apparently chaotic objects in nature such as mountains or coastlines. Scientists also use fractals to better comprehend rainfall trends. Patterns formed by clouds and waves, and the distribution of vegetation. Fractals are also used to create computer-generated art. How is the speed of a CPU measured? Separate from the real-time clock which keeps track of the time of day. The CPU clock sets the tempo for the processor and measures the transmission speed of electronic devices. The clock is used to synchronize data pulses between sender and receiver. A 1 MHz clock manipulates a set number of bits 1 million times per second. In general, the higher the clock speed, the quicker data is processed. However, newer versions of software often require quicker computers just to maintain their overall processing speed. The Hertz is named in honor of Heinrich Hertz, 1857-1894, who detected electromagnetic waves in 1883. 1. Hertz is equal to the number of electromagnetic waves or cycles in a signal that is one cycle per second. What is Moore's Law? Gordon Moore, 1929, co-founder of Intel, R, a top microchip manufacturer. Observed in 1965 that the number of transistors per microchip and hence a chip's processing power would double about every year and a half. The press dubbed this Moore's Law. Despite claims that this ever-increasing trend cannot perpetuate. History has shown that microchip advances are, indeed, keeping pace with Moore's prediction. How is percent of increase calculated? To find the percent of increase, divide the amount of increase by the base amount. Multiply the result by 100%. For example, a raise in salary from $10,000 to $12,000 would have percent of increase equals 2,000 slash 10,000 x 100% equals 20%. What was the first successful video arcade game? Pong, a simple electronic version of a tennis game, was the first successful video arcade game. Although it was first marketed in 1972, Pong was actually invented 14 years earlier in 1958 by William Higginbotham. 1910-1994, who, at the time, headed instrumentation design at Brookhaven National Laboratory.
invented to amuse visitors touring the laboratory. The game was so popular that visitors would stand in line for hours to play it. Higginbotham dismantled the system two years later, and, considering it a trifle, did not patent it. In 1972, Atari released Pong, an arcade version of Higginbotham's game. And Magnavox released Odyssey, a version that could be played on home televisions. How many women have been awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry, Physics, or Physiology or Medicine? Since 1901, the Nobel Prize in Chemistry, Physics, or Physiology or Medicine has been awarded to women 16 times to 15 different women. Marie Curie, 1867-1934, was the only woman and one of the few individuals to receive the Nobel Prize twice. When was the Nobel Prize first awarded? The Nobel Prize was established by Alfred Nobel, 1833-1896. To recognize individuals whose achievements during the preceding year had conferred the greatest benefit to mankind. Five prizes were to be conferred each year in the areas of physics. Chemistry, physiology, or medicine, economic sciences, and peace. Although Nobel passed away in 1896, the first prizes were not awarded until 1901. What is the difference between RAM and ROM? Random access memory RAM is where programs and the systems that run the computer are stored until the CPU can access them. RAM may be read and altered by the user. In general, the more RAM, the faster the computer. RAM holds data only when the current is onto the computer. Newer computers have DDR, double data rate, memory chips. Read-only memory, ROM, is memory that can be read, but not altered by the user. ROM stores information, such as operating programs, even when the computer is switched off. What's the difference between a bit and a byte? Byte, a common unit of computer storage, holds the equivalent of a single character. Such as a letter, a, a number, two, a symbol, dollar, a decimal point, or a space. It is usually equivalent to 8 data bits and 1 parity bit. A bit, a binary digit, the smallest unit of information in a digital computer, is equivalent to a single zero or one. The parity bit is used to check for errors in the bits making up the byte. 8 data bits per byte is the most common size used by computer manufacturers.
How long did it take to prove the four-color map theorem? The four-color map problem was first posed by Francis Guthrie. 1831 to 1899, in 1852. 3. While coloring a map of the English counties. Guthrie discovered he could do it with only four colors and no two adjacent counties would be the same color. He extrapolated the question to whether every map, no matter how complicated and how many countries are on the map, could be colored using only four colors with no two adjacent countries being the same color. The theorem was not proved until 1976, 124 years after the question had been raised. By Kenneth Appel, 1932, and Wolfgang Hacken, 1928. Their proof is considered correct although it relies on computers for the calculations. There is no known simple way to check the proof by hand. What are the sizes of silicon chips? Small silicon chips may be no more than 1 16th square by 1 30th thick and hold up to tens of thousands of transistors. Large chips, the size of a postage stamp, can contain hundreds of millions of transistors. How many different bridge games are possible? Roughly 54 octillion different bridge games are possible. What was the first scientific journal? The first scientific journal was Journal de Scavans, published and edited by Denis de Salo, 1626-1669. The first issue appeared on January 5, 1665. It contained reviews of books, obituaries of famous men. Experimental findings in chemistry and physics, and other general interest information. Publication was suspended following the 13th issue in March 1665. Although the official reason for the suspension of the publication was that de Salo was not submitting his proofs for official approval prior to publication. There is speculation that the real reason for the suspension was his criticism of the work of important people, papal policy, and the old orthodox views of science. It was reinstated in January 1666 and continued as a weekly publication until 1724 the journal was then published on a monthly basis until the French Revolution. In 1792 it was published briefly in 1797 under the title Journal de Savants. It began regular publication again in 1816 under the auspices of the Institut de France evolving as a general interest publication. What is the oldest continuously published scientific journal?
The Philosophical Transactions of the Royal Society of London First published a few months after the first issue of the journal de Scavans. On March 6, 1665, is the oldest, continuously published scientific journal. Who was the first woman to receive the Nobel Prize? Marie Curie was the first woman to receive the Nobel Prize. She received the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1903 for her work on radioactivity in collaboration with her husband. Pierre Curie 1859-1906, and A. H. Becquerel. 1852-1908, the 1903 prize in physics was shared by all three individuals. Marie Curie was also the first person to be awarded two Nobel Prizes and is one of only two individuals who have been awarded a Nobel Prize in two different fields. When and where did the concept of numbers and counting first develop? The human adult, including some of the higher animals, can discern the numbers 1 through 4 without any training. After that people must learn to count. To count requires a system of number manipulation skills. A scheme to name the numbers, and some way to record the numbers. Early people began with fingers and toes, and progressed to shells and pebbles. In the 4th millennium BCE in Elam, near what is today Iran along the Persian Gulf. Accountants began using unbaked clay tokens instead of pebbles. Each represented one order in a numbering system. A stick shape for the number 1, a pellet for 10, a ball for 100, and so on. During the same period, another clay based civilization in Sumer in lower Mesopotamia invented the same system. What is a Mobius strip? A Mobius strip is a surface with only one side, usually made by connecting the two ends of a rectangular strip of paper after putting a half twist, 180 degrees relative to the opposite side, in the strip. Cutting a Mobius strip in half down the center of the length of the strip results in a single band with four half twists. Devised by the German mathematician August Ferdinand Mobius, 1790-1868, to illustrate the properties of one-sided surfaces. It was presented in a paper that was not discovered or published until after his death. Another 19th century German mathematician, Johann Benedict Listing. 1808 to 1882, developed the idea independently at the same time. Are any devices being developed to replace silicon chips? When transistors were introduced in 1948, they demanded less power than fragile 
high temperature vacuum tubes, they allowed electronic equipment to become smaller, faster, and more dependable, and they generated less heat. These developments three made computers much more economical and accessible. They also made portable radios practical. However, the smaller components were harder to wire together. And hand wiring was both expensive and error prone. In the early 1960s, circuits on silicon chips allowed manufacturers to build increased power, speed, and memory storage into smaller packages, which required less electricity to operate and generated even less heat. While through most of the 1970s manufacturers could count on doubling the components on a chip every year. Without increasing the size of the chip, the size limitations of silicon chips are becoming more restrictive. Though components continue to grow smaller, the same rate of shrinking cannot be maintained. Researchers are investigating different materials to use in making circuit chips. Gallium arsenide is harder to handle in manufacturing. But it has the potential for greatly increased switching speed. Organic polymers are potentially cheaper to manufacture and could be used for liquid crystal and other flat screen displays. Which need to have their electronic circuits spread over a wide area. Unfortunately, organic polymers do not allow electricity to pass through as well as the silicons do. Several researchers are working on hybrid chips. Which could combine the benefits of organic polymers with those of silicon. Researchers are also in the initial stages of developing integrated optical chips. Which would use light rather than electric current. Optical chips would generate little or no heat would allow faster switching, and would be immune to electrical noise. What is a golden section? Golden section, also called the divine proportion, is the division of a line segment so that the ratio of the whole segment to the larger part is equal to the ratio of the larger part to the smaller part. The ratio is approximately 1.61803 to 1. The number 1.61803 is called the golden number. Also called phi with a capital P. The golden number is the limit of the ratios of consecutive Fibonacci numbers, such as, for instance, 21 thirteenths and 34 twenty firsts. A golden rectangle is one whose length and width correspond to this ratio. The ancient Greeks thought this shape had the most pleasing proportions. Many famous painters have used the golden rectangle in their paintings. And architects have used it in their design of buildings, the most famous example being the Greek Parthenon. What is the most frequently cited scientific journal article? The most frequently cited scientific article is protein measurement with the fallen phenol reagent by Oliver Howe Lowry. 1910-1996, and co-workers, published in 1951 in the Journal of Biological Chemistry.
Volume 193, Issue 1, pages 265 to 275. As of 2010, this article had been cited 292,968 times since it first appeared. What scientific article has the most authors? The article First Measurement of the Left-Right Cross-Section Asymmetry in Z Boson Production by E and E Collisions Published in Physical Review Letters Volume 70, Issue 87 April 26, 1993, pages 2515 to 2520, listed 406 authors on two pages. Are there any multiple Nobel Prize winners? Four individuals have received multiple Nobel Prizes. They are Marie Curie, 1867-1934, Physics in 1903, and Chemistry in 1911, John Bardeen. 1908-1991, Physics in 1956, and 1972, Linus Pauling, 1901-1994, Chemistry in 1954 and Peace in 1962, and Frederick Sanger, 1918, Chemistry in 1958 and 1980. What was the first technical report written in English? Geoffrey Chaucer's, 1343-1400, Treatise on the Astrolabe was written in 1391. What is the difference between simple interest and compound interest? Simple interest is calculated on the amount of principal only. Compound interest is calculated on the amount of principal plus any previous interest already earned. For example, $100 invested at a rate of 5% for one year will earn $5 after. One year earning simple interest. The same $100 will earn $5.12 if compounded monthly. Is there a Nobel Prize in Mathematics? We do not know for certain why Alfred Nobel did not establish a prize in mathematics. There are several theories revolving around his relationship and dislike for Gosta Mittagleffler. 1846-1927, the leading Swedish mathematician in Nobel's time. Most likely it never occurred to Nobel or he decided against another prize. The Fields Medal in Mathematics is generally considered as prestigious as the Nobel Prize. The Fields Medal was first awarded in 1936. Its full name is now the CRM Fields PIMS Prize. The 2009 winner was Martin Barlow, 1953. 
for his work in probability and in the behavior of diffusions on fractals and other disordered media. Why does the actual amount of computer storage space differ from the advertised amount of storage? Computer storage space for hard drives and other storage media is calculated in base 2 using binary format with a byte as the basic unit. The common units of computer storage are, kilobyte, KB, 024 bytes megabyte, MB, 1024 kilobytes or 1,048,576 bytes gigabyte, GB, 024 megabytes or 1,073,741,824 bytes tier byte. TB, 024 gigabytes, or 1 trillion 99 billion 511 million 627,776 bytes however, since consumers are more familiar with the decimal. Base 10, System of Numbers, Computer Manufacturers Describe Storage Sizes in Base 10 where 1 megabyte is 1 million bytes and 1 gigabyte is 1 billion bytes. Therefore, for each gigabyte they are over-reporting storage space by 73,741,824 bytes. The concept is further complicated because some storage media may have the actual amount of advertised storage but some of the available storage is lost due to formatting. What was the Turk? The Turk was the name for a famous chess-playing automaton. An automaton, such as a robot, is a mechanical figure constructed to act as if it moves by its own power. On a dare in 1770, a civil servant in the Vienna Imperial Court named Wolfgang von Kempelen. 1734-1804, created a chess-playing machine. This mustached, Man-sized figure carved from wood wore a turban, trousers, and robe, and sat behind a desk. In one hand it held a long Turkish pipe, implying that it had just finished a pre-game smoke. And its innards were filled with gears, pulleys, and cams. The machine seemed a keen. Chess player and dumbfounded onlookers by defeating all the best human chess players. It was a farce, however, its moves were surreptitiously made by a man hiding inside. The Turk, so dubbed because of the outfit similar to traditional Turkish garb, is regarded as a forerunner to the Industrial Revolution because it created a commotion over devices that could complete complex tasks. Historians argue that it inspired people to invent other early devices such as the power loom and the telephone. And it even was a precursor to concepts such as artificial intelligence and computerization. Today, however, Computer chess games are so sophisticated that they can defeat even the world's best chess masters. In May 1997, the Deep Blue Chess Computer defeated world champion Garry Kasparov, 1963. Deep Blue was a 32 note IBM R 6000 SP high performance. Computer that used Power 2 Super Chip Processors, P2SC. 
Each node had a single microchannel card containing a dedicated VLSI. Chess processors for a total of 256 processors working in tandem. Allowing Deep Blue to calculate 100 to 200 billion chess moves within 3 minutes. When was the first time two women shared the Nobel Prize in the same field? It was not until 2009 that two women shared the Nobel Prize in the same field. Carol W. Greider, 1961, and Elizabeth H. Blackburn, 1948. Shared the prize in physiology or medicine, along with Jack W. Sostak, 1952, for their discovery of how chromosomes are protected by telomeres and the enzyme telomerase. What is a silicon chip? A silicon chip is an almost pure piece of silicon. Usually less than one centimeter square and about half a millimeter thick. It contains hundreds of thousands of miniaturized electronic circuit components. Mainly transistors, packed and interconnected in layers beneath the surface. These components can perform control, logic, and memory functions. There is a grid of thin metallic strips on the surface of the chip. These wires are used for electrical connections to other devices. The silicon chip was developed independently by two researchers, Jack Kilby. 1923 to 2005 of Texas Instruments in 1958 and Robert Noyce 1927 to 1990 of Fairchild Semiconductor in 1959 Jack Kilby was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2000 for his discovery of the silicon chip While silicon chips are essential to almost all computer operations today a myriad of other devices depend on them as well, including calculators, microwave ovens, automobiles, and VCRs. What is a hard drive of a computer? Hard disks, formerly called hard disk drives and more recently just hard drives, were invented in the 1950s. They are storage devices in desktop computers, laptops, servers, and mainframes. Hard disks use a magnetic recording surface to record, access, and erase data. In much the same way as magnetic tape records, plays, and erases sound or images. A read-slash-write head, suspended over a spinning disk, is directed by the central processing unit. CPU, to the sector where the requested data is stored, or where the data is to be recorded. A hard disk uses rigid aluminum disks coated with iron oxide to store data. Data are stored in files that are named collections of bytes. The bytes could be anything from the ASCII codes for the characters of a text file to instructions. For a software application to the records of a database to the pixel colors for an image. 
Hard drive size ranges from several hundred gigabytes to more than one terabyte. A hard disk rotates from 5400 to 7200 revolutions per minute, RPM, and is constantly spinning. Except in laptops, which can serve battery life by spinning the hard disk only when in use. An ultra-fast hard disk has a separate red slash right head over each track on the disk. So that no time is lost in positioning the head over the desired track. Accessing the desired sector takes only milliseconds, the time it takes for the disk to spin to the sector. Hard drive performance is measured by data rate and seek time. Data rate is the number of bytes per second that the hard drive can deliver to the CPU. Seek time is the amount of time that elapses from when the CPU requests a file and when the first byte of the file is delivered to the CPU. What is a hard drive of a computer? Hard disks, formerly called hard disk drives and more recently just hard drives, were invented in the 1950s. They are storage devices in desktop computers, laptops, servers, and mainframes. Hard disks use a magnetic recording surface to record, access, and erase data. In much the same way as magnetic tape records, plays, and erases sound or images. A read slash write head, suspended over a spinning disk, is directed by the central processing unit. CPU, to the sector where the requested data is stored, or where the data is to be recorded. A hard disk uses rigid aluminum disks coated with iron oxide to store data. Data are stored in files that are named collections of bytes. The bytes could be anything from the ASCII codes for the characters of a text file to instructions. For a software application to the records of a database to the pixel colors for an image. Hard drive size ranges from several hundred gigabytes to more than one terabyte. A hard disk rotates from 5400 to 7200 revolutions per minute, RPM, and is constantly spinning. Except in laptops, which can serve battery life by spinning the hard disk only when in use. An ultra-fast hard disk has a separate red slash right head over each track on the disk. So that no time is lost in positioning the head over the desired track. Accessing the desired sector takes only milliseconds, the time it takes for the disk to spin to the sector. Hard drive performance is measured by data rate and seek time. Data rate is the number of bytes per second that the hard drive can deliver to the CPU. Seek time is the amount of time that elapses from when the CPU requests a file and when the first byte of the file is delivered to the CPU. What were floppy disks? The first floppy disk drive was invented by Alan Shugart, 1930-2006, in 1967 at IBM. Floppy disks, also called diskettes, were made of plastic film covered with a magnetic coating, which were enclosed in a non-removable plastic protective envelope. 
Floppy disks varied in storage capacity from 100,000 bytes to more than 2 megabytes. The three common floppy disk, diskette, sizes varied widely in storage capacity. An 8-inch or 5.25-inch diskette was enclosed in a plastic protective envelope, which did not protect the disk from bending or folding, parts of the disk surface were also exposed, and could be contaminated by fingerprints or dust. These diskettes became known as floppy. Discs because the packaging of the 5.25 inch disc was a very flexible plastic envelope. The casing on a 3.5 inch floppy disc was rigid plastic, and included a sliding disc guard that protected the disc surface. But allowed it to be exposed when the disc was inserted in the disc drive. This protection, along with the increased data storage capacity, made the 3.5-inch disk the most popular. Zip, R, disks were very similar to floppy disks but the magnetic coating was of much higher quality. They were able store up to 750 megabytes of data. By the mid-1990s, floppy disks and Zip, R, disks had become obsolete as computer files and memory required larger storage and computers were no longer being manufactured with floppy disk drives. These disks can still be accessed by using an external 4 floppy drive reader with a USB connection. What were floppy disks? The first floppy disk drive was invented by Alan Shugart, 1930-2006, in 1967 at IBM. Floppy disks, also called diskettes, were made of plastic film covered with a magnetic coating, which were enclosed in a non-removable plastic protective envelope. Floppy disks varied in storage capacity from 100,000 bytes to more than 2 megabytes. The three common floppy disk, diskette, sizes varied widely in storage capacity. An 8-inch or 5.25-inch diskette was enclosed in a plastic protective envelope, which did not protect the disk from bending or folding, parts of the disk surface were also exposed and could be contaminated by fingerprints or dust. These diskettes became known as floppy disks because the packaging of the 5.25-inch disk was a very flexible plastic envelope. The casing on a 3.5-inch floppy disk was rigid plastic, and included a sliding disk guard that protected the disk surface, but allowed it to be exposed when the disk was inserted in the disk drive. This protection, along with the increased data storage capacity, made the 3.5-inch disk the most popular. Zip, R, disks were very similar to floppy disks but the magnetic coating was of much higher quality. They were able store up to 750 megabytes of data. By the mid-1990s, floppy disks and zip, R, disks had become obsolete as computer files and memory. Required larger storage and computers were no longer being manufactured with floppy disk drives. These disks can still be accessed by using an external 4 floppy drive reader with a USB connection. What are some newer forms of portable storage media?
external hard drives are similar to the internal hard drive of the machine with storage capacity of up to and beyond 2 TB. Often using a USB port to connect, they provide an easy alternative for backup storage. Compact discs, CDs, and DVDs are optical storage devices. There are three types of CDs and DVDs, read-only, write once. CDR and DVDR, and rewritable, CDRW and DVDRW. Although read-only CDs and DVDs are wonderful for pre-packaged software, they do not permit a user to save their own material. CDRs store 700 megabytes of data and can be written once. DVDRs are similar to CDRs except they hold 4 to 28 times more data. Single disc DVDRs are available that can store 4.7 GB of data or 2 hours of video. Read slash write CDs use a different chemical compound which allows data to be recorded, erased, and rewritten. Solid state storage technology has no moving parts. One example is flash memory sticks. All cells are set to zero on the memory chip before data is stored in a flash memory stick. When data are entered, electric charges are applied to certain cells. These charges pierce a thin layer of oxide and become trapped. The trapped charges become ones. The binary code pattern of zeros and ones is stored into the memory. Flash memory sticks are available with up to 64 GB of storage. Providing large amounts of easily transportable storage. What are some newer forms of portable storage media? External hard drives are similar to the internal hard drive of the machine with storage capacity of up to and beyond 2 TB. Often using a USB port to connect, they provide an easy alternative for backup storage. Compact discs, CDs, and DVDs are optical storage devices. There are three types of CDs and DVDs, read-only, write-once. CDR and DVDR, and rewritable, CDRW and DVDRW. Although read-only CDs and DVDs are wonderful for pre-packaged software, they do not permit a user to save their own material. CDRs store 700 megabytes of data and can be written once. DVDRs are similar to CDRs except they hold 4 to 28 times more data. Single disc DVDRs are available that can store 4.7 GB of data or 2 hours of video. Read slash write CDs use a different chemical compound which allows data to be recorded, erased, and rewritten. Solid state storage technology has no moving parts. One example is flash memory sticks. All cells are set to zero on the memory chip before data is stored in a flash memory stick. When data are entered, electric charges are applied to certain cells. These charges pierce a thin layer of oxide and become trapped. The trapped charges become ones. The binary code pattern of zeros and ones is stored into the memory. 
Flash memory sticks are available with up to 64 GB of storage. Providing large amounts of easily transportable storage. Who invented the computer mouse? A computer mouse is a handheld input device that, when rolled across a flat surface, causes a cursor to move in a corresponding way on a display screen. A prototype mouse was part of an input console demonstrated by Douglas C. Engelhardt, 1925, in 1968 at the Fall Joint Computer Conference in San Francisco. Popularized in 1984 by the Macintosh from Apple Computer, the mouse was the result of 15 years. Devoted to exploring ways to make communicating with computers simpler and more flexible. The physical appearance of the small box with the dangling, tail-like wire suggested the name of mouse. In recent years, the mouse has evolved into other shapes and forms. One type is the wireless or tailless mouse which does not have a cord to connect to the computer. Wireless mice use radio signals or infrared to connect to the computer. Who invented the computer mouse? A computer mouse is a handheld input device that, when rolled across a flat surface, causes a cursor to move in a corresponding way on a display screen. A prototype mouse was part of an input console demonstrated by Douglas C. Engelhardt, 1925, in 1968 at the Fall Joint Computer Conference in San Francisco. Popularized in 1984 by the Macintosh from Apple Computer, the mouse was the result of 15 years. Devoted to exploring ways to make communicating with computers simpler and more flexible. The physical appearance of the small box with the dangling, tail-like wire suggested the name of mouse. In recent years, the mouse has evolved into other shapes and forms. One type is the wireless or tailless mouse which does not have a cord to connect to the computer. Wireless mice use radio signals or infrared to connect to the computer. What is a USB port? The Universal Serial Bus USB, connectors first appeared on computers in the late 1990s. It has become the most widely used interface to attach peripherals, such as mice. Printers and scanners, external storage drives, digital cameras, and other devices to a computer. Unlike older serial ports and parallel ports, USB ports are easy to reach and can easily be plugged in even while the computer is in use. What is a USB port? The Universal Serial Bus USB, 
connectors first appeared on computers in the late 1990s. It has become the most widely used interface to attach peripherals, such as mice. Printers and scanners, external storage drives, digital cameras, and other devices to a computer. Unlike older serial ports and parallel ports, USB ports are easy to reach and can easily be plugged in even while the computer is in use. What is Hopper's rule? Electricity travels one foot, 0.3 meter, in a nanosecond, a billionth of a second. This is one of a number of rules compiled for the convenience of computer programmers. It is also considered to be a fundamental limitation on the possible. Speed of a computer signals in an electrical circuit cannot move any faster. What is Hopper's rule? Electricity travels one foot, 0.3 meter, in a nanosecond, a billionth of a second. This is one of a number of rules compiled for the convenience of computer programmers. It is also considered to be a fundamental limitation on the possible. Speed of a computer signals in an electrical circuit cannot move any faster. Is assembly language the same thing as machine language? While the two terms are often used interchangeably. Assembly language is a more user-friendly translation of machine language. Machine language is the collection of patterns of bits. Recognized by a central processing unit, CPU, as instructions. Each particular CPU design has its own machine language. The machine language of the CPU of a microcomputer generally includes about 75 instructions. The machine language of the CPU of a large mainframe computer may include hundreds of instructions. Each of these instructions is a pattern of ones and zeros that tells the CPU to perform a specific operation. Assembly language is a collection of symbolic mnemonic names for each instruction in the machine language of its CPU. Like the machine language, the assembly language is tied to a particular CPU design. Programming in assembly language requires intimate familiarity with the CPU's architecture. And assembly language programs are difficult to maintain and require extensive documentation. The computer language C first developed in the late 1980s. Is a high-level pro programming language that can be compiled into machine languages for almost all computers. From microcomputers to mainframes, because of its functional structure. It was the first series of programs that allowed a computer to use higher level language programs. And is the most widely used programming language for personal computer software development. C was first released in 1985 and is still widely used today.
Is assembly language the same thing as machine language? While the two terms are often used interchangeably. Assembly language is a more user-friendly translation of machine language. Machine language is the collection of patterns of bits. Recognized by a central processing unit, CPU, as instructions. Each particular CPU design has its own machine language. The machine language of the CPU of a microcomputer generally includes about 75 instructions. The machine language of the CPU of a large mainframe computer may include hundreds of instructions. Each of these instructions is a pattern of ones and zeros that tells the CPU to perform a specific operation. Assembly language is a collection of symbolic. Mnemonic names for each instruction in the machine language of its CPU. Like the machine language, the assembly language is tied to a particular CPU design. Programming in assembly language requires intimate familiarity with the CPU's architecture. And assembly language programs are difficult to maintain and require extensive documentation. The computer language C first developed in the late 1980s. Is a high-level pro programming language that can be compiled into machine languages for almost all computers. From microcomputers to mainframes, because of its functional structure. It was the first series of programs that allowed a computer to use higher-level language programs and is the most widely used programming language for personal computer software development. C++ was first released in 1985 and is still widely used today. Who was the first programmer? According to historical accounts, Lord Byron's, 1788-1824, daughter, Augusta Ada Byron, 1815-1852. The Countess of Lovelace, was the first person to write a computer program for Charles Babbage's analytical engine. This machine was to work by means of punched cards that could store partial answers that could later be retrieved for additional operations and would then print the results. Her work with Babbage and the essays she wrote about the possibilities of the engine established her as a kind of founding parent of the art and science of programming. The programming language called Ada was named in her honor by the U.S. Department of Defense. In modern times, Commodore Grace Murray Hopper, 1906-1992 Of the U.S. Navy is acknowledged as one of the first programmers of the Mark I computer in 1944. Who was the first programmer? According to historical accounts, Lord Byron's, 1788-1824, daughter, Augusta Ada Byron, 1815-1852. The Countess of Lovelace, was the first person to write a computer program for Charles Babbage's analytical engine. This machine was to work by means of punched cards that could store partial answers. 
that could later be retrieved for additional operations and would then print the results. Her work with Babbage and the essays she wrote about the possibilities of the engine established her as a kind of founding parent of the art and science of programming. The programming language called ADA was named in her honor by the U.S. Department of Defense. In modern times, Commodore Grace Murray Hopper, 1906-1992 of the U.S. Navy is acknowledged as one of the first programmers of the Mark I computer in 1944. Who invented the COBOL computer language? COBOL, Common Business Oriented Language, is a prominent computer language designed specifically for commercial uses. Created in 1960 by a team drawn from several computer makers and the Pentagon. The best known individual associated with COBOL was then Lt. Grace Murray Hopper who made Fundamental contributions to the U.S. Navy's standardization of COBOL. COBOL excels at the most common kinds of data processing for business simple arithmetic operations performed on huge files of data. The language endures because its syntax is very much like English and because a program written in COBOL for one kind of computer can run on many others without alteration. Who invented the COBOL computer language? COBOL, Common Business Oriented Language, is a prominent computer language designed specifically for commercial uses. Created in 1960 by a team drawn from several computer makers and the Pentagon. The best known individual associated with COBOL was then Lt. Grace Murray Hopper who made Fundamental contributions to the U.S. Navy's standardization of COBOL. COBOL excels at the most common kinds of data processing for business simple arithmetic operations performed on huge files of data. The language endures because its syntax is very much like English and because a program written in COBOL for one kind of computer can run on many others without alteration. Who invented the Pascal computer language? Niklas Wirth, 1934 a Swiss computer programmer, created the Pascal computer language in 1970. It was used in the academic setting as a teaching tool for computer scientists and programmers. Who invented the Pascal computer language? Niklas Wirth, 1934, a Swiss computer programmer, created the Pascal computer language in 1970. It was used in the academic setting as a teaching tool for computer scientists and programmers. Which was the first widely used high level programming language?
Fortran, formula translator, was developed by IBM in the late 1950s. John Backus, 1924-2007, was the head of the team that developed Fortran. Designed for scientific work containing mathematical formulas. Fortran allowed programmers to use algebraic expressions rather than cryptic assembly code. The Fortran compiler translated the algebraic expressions into machine-level code. By the late 1960s, Fortran was available on almost every computer. Especially IBM machines, and utilized by many users. Which was the first widely used high-level programming language? Fortran, Formula Translator, was developed by IBM in the late 1950s. John Backus, 1924-2007, was the head of the team that developed Fortran. Designed for scientific work containing mathematical formulas. Fortran allowed programmers to use algebraic expressions rather than cryptic assembly code. The Fortran compiler translated the algebraic expressions into machine-level code. By the late 1960s, Fortran was available on almost every computer especially IBM machines, and utilized by many users. When was Java developed? Java was released by Sun Microsystems in 1995 a team of developers headed by James Gosling. 1955, began working on a refinement of C++ that ultimately led to Java. Unlike other computer languages, which are either compiled or interpreted, Java compiles the source code into a format called bytecode. The bytecode is then executed by an interpreter. Java was adapted to the emerging World Wide Web and formed the basis of the Netscape Internet Browser. When was Java developed? Java was released by Sun Microsystems in 1995. A team of developers headed by James Gosling. 1955, began working on a refinement of C++ that ultimately led to Java. Unlike other computer languages, which are either compiled or interpreted. Java compiles the source code into a format called bytecode. The bytecode is then executed by an interpreter. Java was adapted to the emerging World Wide Web and formed the basis of the Netscape Internet Browser. What are imaginary numbers? Imaginary numbers are the square roots of negative numbers. Since the square is the product of two equal numbers with like signs it is always positive. Therefore, no number multiplied by itself can give a negative real number. 
the symbol I is used to indicate an imaginary number. What is a USB port? The Universal Serial Bus USB, connectors first appeared on computers in the late 1990s. It has become the most widely used interface to attach peripherals, such as mice. Printers and scanners, external storage drives, digital cameras, and other devices to a computer. Unlike older serial ports and parallel ports, USB ports are easy to reach and can easily be plugged in even while the computer is in use. Why is the number 10 considered important? One reason is that the metric system is based on the number 10. The metric system emerged in the late 18th century out of a need to bring standardization to measurement, which had up to then been fickle, depending upon the preference of the ruler of the day. But 10 was important well before the metric system. Nicomachus of Gereza C60 C120, a 2nd century Neopythagorean from Judea, considered 10 a perfect number. The figure of divinity present in creation with mankind's fingers and toes. Pythagoreans believed 10 to be the firstborn of the numbers. The mother of them all, the one that never wavers and gives the key to all things. Shepherds of West Africa counted sheep in their flocks by colored shells based on 10. And 10 had evolved as a base of most numbering schemes. Some scholars believe the reason 10 developed as a base number had more to do with ease. 10 is easily counted on fingers and the rules of addition. Subtraction, multiplication, and division for the number 10 are easily memorized. Who invented the COBOL computer language? COBOL, Common Business Oriented Language, is a prominent computer language designed specifically for commercial uses. Created in 1960 by a team drawn from several computer makers and the Pentagon. The best known individual associated with COBOL was then Lieutenant Grace Murray Hopper who made fundamental contributions to the US Navy's standardization of COBOL. COBOL excels at the most common Kinds of data processing for business simple arithmetic operations performed on huge files of data. The language endures because its syntax is very much like English and because a program. Written in COBOL for one kind of computer can run on many others without alteration. What are Fibonacci numbers? Fibonacci numbers are a series of numbers where each, after the second term, is the sum of the two preceding numbers for example, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, and so on. 
They were first described by Leonardo Fibonacci, C1180 C1250. Also known as Leonard of Pisa, as part of a thesis on series in his most famous book Liberobasi, The Book of the Calculator. Published in 1202 and later revised by him. Fibonacci numbers are used frequently to illustrate natural sequences, such as the spiral organization of a sunflower's seeds. The chambers of a nautilus shell, or the reproductive capabilities of rabbits. What are Roman numerals? Roman numerals are symbols that stand for numbers. They are written using seven basic symbols, I, 1, V, 5, X, 10, L, 50, C, 100, D, 500, and M, 1000. Sometimes a bar is placed over a numeral to multiply it by 1. 000 a smaller numeral appearing before a larger numeral indicates that the smaller numeral is subtracted from the larger one. This notation is generally used for 4 seconds and 9s. For example, 4 is written 4, 9 is 9, 40 is XL, and 90 is XC. What was Maniac? Maniac, mathematical analyzer, numerator, integrator, and computer. Was built at the Los Alamos Scientific Laboratory under the direction of Nicholas C. Metropolis, 1915 to 1999 between 1948 and 1952 it was one of several different copies of the high speed computer built by John von Neumann 1903 to 1957 for the Institute for Advanced Studies IS it was constructed primarily for use in the development of three atomic energy applications specifically the hydrogen bomb. It originated with the work on ENIAC, Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer. The first fully operational, large-scale, electronic digital computer. ENIAC was built at the Moore School of Electrical Engineering at the University. Of Pennsylvania between 1943 and 1946. Its builders, John Priesper Eckert Jr. 1919 to 1995, and John William Mochley, 1907 to 1980. Virtually launched the modern era of the computer with NIAC. 